Hi guys, good evening, welcome. Hi Robert. Hello, hello teacher. Nice hello. To meet you. hello, nice to meet you too. Welcome. Hello Anna, good to see you here. Monica, Angelica, welcome. How was your day today, Anna? Hello. Hello. Yes. Good evening. Good evening, Anna. Did you work today? I guess. I you did. What time did you finish? Uh, I I finished at 4 p.m. Ah, okay, at 4 p.m. Four hours ago. It's a good time. Yes, good it's moment. my first time in the class. <laughs> yes, I didn't see you yesterday. So nice to meet you. My name is nice Evelyn. Are nice you in the group? In the yes. WhatsApp group. Ah, okay, excellent. Yes, yes, Okay, we will get to know each other a little bit more during the classes, Anna. But welcome. The same with Robert. And hello, Catherine. Good to see you. So, guys, if you can activate the camera, please do it. If you can't, send me a message. Okay, send me a message. We will play a game. Okay, we will play a game. It's a detective's game. And let's do this. Okay, Robert, please choose, escoge, please choose one profession or one occupation. It's going to be a secret. Va a ser un secreto. It's going to be a secret, Robert. Send me a message with the secret occupation by chat. But a message just for me, Robert. Do you understand? Uh, Robert, are you there? Or maybe he's not there right now. Okay, so let's do it with Monica. Monica, can you send me a, a secret message? Choose one profession, any profession you wish, and send me a private message. Hello, guys. Good evening. Hello, Wendy. Welcome. Lisette, Kelly. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good, Good evening, teacher. You here. Uh, Monica, do you understand? Oh, okay. Okay. Do you understand the activity? Hi, Robert. Do you understand the activity? Si ¿Sí me entiende la, el proceso, Robert? Oh, the microphone, uh, Robert. Eh, mandarle un mensaje mm -hmm. privado a usted de una profesión. Yes, okay. So he has a secret occupation and your responsibility is to discover the identity. Your responsibility is to discover the identity. Los demás, Tienen la responsabilidad de descubrir su identidad. It's a secret. You can only say yes or no, Robert. Eso es lo único que usted va a poder, poder decir. Yes or no. That's the only thing you can say. And we have some help. Tenemos un poco de ayuda. We have some help. Here you have some questions, some ideas for questions for Robert. We have ideas, and if you wish, ask your own questions. Aquí les doy una ayuda para poder descubrir la profesión de Robert. Y si ustedes desean, pueden preguntar sus propias preguntas. Okay, so Robert, listen to the questions and say yes or no. Do you guys understand? Clear? Understood? Yes? Okay. Yes. Perfect. So, Anna, let's begin with you. Ask him a question. 
Okay, is necessary uh, do do you uh, is necessary the question and the uh, um, uh, he can only say yes or no. That's the only thing you cannot ask other type of questions. Okay. Uh, is uh, um, do you get a bit salary? Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you get a big salary, Robert, with your occupation? Uh, <laughs> maybe. No. Yes or no? No. Okay, no. so no. Okay, Robert. Now, Catherine, an, an extra question. We are trying to discover the profession. Remember that. If you have an idea, you can share. Yes, Catherine. Okay. Um, do you work with many people? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Catherine. Uh, let's see, Wendy. Another question for Robert. Is your job boring? No. No, it's not no. boring. No. Okay. Monica, question for Robert. Uh, do you smile very much? Do you smile? Uh -huh. you do you smile you know very much? Mm -hmm. Smile. smile very Teacher, it's complicated because sometimes mm -hmm. I smile and sometimes no. <laughs> it's a difficult answer for your yes. classmates. Okay, okay. So it's like yes and no. <laughs> Thank you, Robert and Monica. Ideas right now? No sé si alguien ya tiene una idea. We are playing detectives for the ones who just connected. We are trying to discover Roberto's a profession, it's a secret. You can use the questions here, but if you have one idea, you can say. Anna, I, do you want to come? I have a uh -huh. question. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, uh, I don't know, do you, uh, do you hard work? Yes. Do you? It's difficult, hard work. Uh, okay, all right. Let's see, Marlon. Another question for Robert. Um, is your job fun? Okay. Uh, it's my job. Fun. Uh, fun, 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 fun. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Angelica. One question, please. Really, it's my profession. I don't know if they know your profession. They do. But that is your profession. Or you, Hazel, do you have one question for Robert to discover his identity? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is is your job stressful? Yes. It is. Okay. Thank you. Ideas? Ideas now? Lisette, do you have a comment or a question for Robert? Question. Uh -huh. Do you have to work at night? Mm, Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. All right, Vane, uh, Vane Carranza. Is your job stressful? Next, uh, somebody asked that one. Another one, Vane. Mm, do you sit at the desk? Uh huh. Some. Uh... Really, I say something. Mm -hmm. I'm Sometimes. working. No, I'm working for Vial. Okay, he's going to give you a okay. clue. One clue uh, for you guys, Catherine. Uh, engineer. 
Exactly. Correct. Uh -huh. Correct. That was the profession. It was difficult, right, for you. It was difficult just with yes and no questions. Okay, thank you, Robert, for your help. So guys, uh, welcome to the class, the ones who just connected. Today, we will practice a little bit more frequency words and frequency expressions. Just general feedback, okay, general feedback. We have one common problem, okay, with, the ex with frequency words, the position, guys. Okay, so let's remember that, frequency words. We will make a list, okay, um, a list of different frequency words. Okay, Vane Ramirez, can you mention frequency words, please? The ones we studied yesterday. Do you have some ideas, Vane? Uh, frequency word. Uh -huh. Yesterday in the class. Yesterday study. The list. Uh -huh. um, hardly ever. Uh -huh. um, More? Sometimes. 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 Um, rarely. Uh -huh. um, always. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Vane. Kelia, do you have more, more uh, frequency words? We have never. Four. Uh huh. We have never. Generally. Generally. Uh mm huh. -hmm. seldom. Seldom. Uh huh. Mm. By the way, um, no, that one is different, Robert. But thank you, thank you. Okay, occasionally. often, often, occasionally, uh huh, often, okay. correct. Thank you. So, Normally. we are talking about those words now. The position that is the problem we had. Ese fue el problema más común que observé la posición que le estamos dando, the position of the frequency words. In English, is different than in Spanish. In Spanish, sometimes we put it at the beginning or in the start, but not in English. In English, we mention the subject, okay? Subject, and well, use the frequency, Ex well, word before the verb. It's mandatory, okay? Put the frequency word before the verb. For example, okay, let's say Anna. Anna activity, play, and sport soccer that's a normal sentence but i want to know the frequency quiero saber la frecuencia i want to know the frequency i have to put the frequency here okay frequency word okay anna and sorry about the mistake here anna place and the frequency Never, Anna never plays soccer, okay? So I just wanted to emphasize that. Solo quería hacer un poco de, de énfasis en esa parte, the position, okay? We only have two exceptions, okay? Two exceptions for the position. Mm -hmm. Do you remember, uh, Wendy, the exception for this rule? Sometimes. Yes. Sometimes, uh -huh. sometimes sometimes change the position and not usually sometimes and usually good job okay sometimes and usually have two options or positions at the beginning or in the middle 
Can you think about one example, Alfredo? One sentence with sometimes, please. And Robert, one sentence with usually. One okay. idea, uh, Alfredo. Whatever, whatever position about mm, sometimes. In the normal position, the traditional okay. position in the middle. I sometimes play basketball on Fine. weekend. Thank you. I sometimes play basketball on the weekends. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Alfredo. Okay, so that is the traditional position, the traditional way. And the second option, you can put sometimes first. Okay, sometimes. I play basketball and that's okay with sometimes. And number two, usually. Do you have the sentence with usually? I don't remember if I said Amanda. Do you have one sentence with usually? Oh. Or was it Robert? Yes. Robert. Oh. Usually. I, I usually visit. Oh, Sorry, let's listen to you, Amanda, and then we listen to Robert. <laughs> Sorry, Robert. Yes, I usually. I, I usually. I usually visit my parents on weekends. Uh -huh, I usually visit my parents on the weekends. Thank on you, Amanda. Weekend. That's that's correct. On weekends. Okay. That's good now. And what is your sentence, Roberto? With usually at the beginning. Usually. I, mm -hmm. We eat pizza. Usually I visit my parents on weekends. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. That's the other option, Amanda. Uh -huh. And this is option two. Usually we eat pizza, okay, two positions. Today, today we will talk more about questions, okay? We will elaborate questions and we will practice answers. Do you have questions for me? Do you have any questions or comments before I continue? No, no questions. Okay, so let's talk about questions. One moment. <clears throat> Questions about frequency. Okay, there are two words you can use to ask about the frequency or regularity of an activity. Okay, there are two. We're going to study two words. Number one, ever. That's the, the first one, ever. That will be the first one, ever. We usually answer with a frequency word. We have frequency words and frequency expressions. With ever, we will use a frequency word. I'm going to give you examples. Number one, we want to know the frequency, the frequency of the activity. Do you ever, it's for the frequency. Do you ever play, now the activity, play soccer, Hazel? Do you ever play soccer? We want to know the frequency, Hazel. What um, do you say? Siempre. No, esta palabra solo indica que yo quiero saber la frecuencia. Okay. Entonces, what could you say? I never play soccer. Aha, uh -huh. correct. I never play soccer. Why? 
Porque yo le pregunto de su frecuencia, right? Do you ever play soccer? I never play soccer. Again. Let's do it again. Does your mom go to, I'm sorry, does your mom and now ever, wait, I'm not, does your mom ever, ever go to the hospital? Question mark. Okay, and Lisette, what could you say? Does your mom ever go to the hospital? Or Yolanda, are you there? My mother never uh, go to the hospital. Correct, thank you, Liz, Lisette. My mom never goes, in this case, to the hospital. Yes. Let's go with Mario. Okay, Mario. Does your dad, and now the frequency, ever go to the U.S.? Does your dad ever go to the U.S.? My dad never goes to uh... The U.S. Never. Why not? Not a visa. Ah, he doesn't have the visa. That's <laughs> a good have, reason not, why. Not have visa. <laughs> okay, thank you. So he never goes to the U.S. Guys, questions in this moment? Do you understand? Yes, no, so, so. Como vamos? How are we doing? Hazel? Yes. ¿Cómo se leería la pregunta, do you ever play soccer? En español, ¿cómo se leería? ¿Qué tan a menudo? Uh -huh. But Hazel, one recommendation, try not to translate. Una recomendación, algo que sirve mucho es no traducir, porque a veces el traducir va a afectar como uno dice algo. Así que el, mi consejo es que traten de aprender el uso de la palabra y con el uso lo empleen. That would be a suggestion, ¿ok? Pero sería eso, como... Eh, ya se lo olvidé la palabra. ¿Qué tan a menudo? I think I said, right? Ajá. So, yes, yes, that's the, the word. Ok, guys, can you send messages with some questions, please, with ever... Any questions? We will make a list of questions. Please send me examples with ever. It could be about you, it could be about your mom, about your pet, use different subjects. Let's make a list. We will use the questions in one moment and send them by chat with ever. I'm going to share the screen in case you want to look at the notes. Miss? Yes, yeah, Anna? I have a question. Tell uh, me. Uh, uh, we send you in the chat soon? Uh huh. In the, yes, here. Okay. Please, okay. a public message. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Anna. Correct, Kelia. And Marlon, correct. Kelia again, correct. Please send more ideas in the chat. Yes, Wendy. Yes, Mario. Vane Carranza, only the question, Vane. Solo, solo preguntas, Vane. No answers in this moment. And then Catherine, 
Yes. Yolanda. Correct. Amanda. Uh -huh, correct. Kelia. Again. It's good. It's perfect. Only the questions, guys. Solo las preguntas. Only questions. Alfredo, correct. Angélica, yes, perfect. Ana, does Karen never go to walk? Yes. Do you ever visit, visit the, the mall, Bunny? Do you ever go to the beach? Okay, perfect, thank you. With the list, we are going to ask around. Con esa lista nos vamos a preguntar, algunos de nosotros at least. Okay, you choose one question and you ask your classmate. Escogen cualquiera de las preguntas en la lista y escogen a cualquiera de sus classmates. You choose any question, any classmates. Okay, let's begin with, let's see. Okay, Monica. Monica, choose one question and choose one of your classmates. Angélica Paso. Este okay. sería Angélica One more time, please. Do you... I think your connection is low, Monica. You're breaking up. Do you ever play video games, Angélica? You can send it in the chat because I know you can speak. Tennis. Okay, thank you, Monica. I heard a part of it. Okay, now let's continue with Heidi. Hello, Heidi. One question, one classmate. Hi. You can look at the participants tab. You have the name of all your classmates there. Do you ever play video games? Uh -huh. Two times. One, one more time, Heidi, okay. please. Do, do you ever go, go to the cinema? For whom? Para quien? For whom? For whom? Catherine Reyes. Catherine. Okay, Catherine. What would be the answer? Uh, I never go to the cinema. Never. Because of the pandemic or you don't like it? Uh, because the pandemic, yes. Mm -hmm. It's kind of dangerous. I only uh, went to go Spider-Man, but I never go. Only to watch <laughs> Spider-Man. Okay, Catherine, good job. Thank you. Let's continue with Roberto. Robert? One question, one of your classmates, please. It, con, what do you oh, mean? Con, oh, you can choose one question of the list. In the chat, we have a list of questions that all of you have sent. En el chat ya hay una lista disponible con todas las preguntas que todos han hecho, Robert. Only choose one and then one of your classmates. Or Wendy, can you continue? Do you ever play piano? Okay. Wendy, can you answer? The, the question. I never play the piano. <laughs> mm -hmm. no. Correct. 
Correct question and answer, Wendy. Thank you. Marlon, continue, please. Okay, uh, from Kelia. Mm -hmm. uh, does your brother ever go to the church? Mm -hmm. My brother usually go to the church. Thank you, correct. And remember, goes in this case, Kelia, because it's a third person. Thanks. Okay, now Yolanda, please continue. For, for Ana Mojara. For Ana, okay. Do you ever swim? Uh, I never, I never swim. You never swim, uh -huh. okay. Thank you, Ana and Yolanda. Mario, can you continue, please? Uh, para Lizette Castillo. Okay. Do you ever go to the gym in the morning? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I sometimes go I to see. the gym in the morning. Yes, Lizette. Thank you and thank you, Mario. Now, Vane Ramirez and Vane Carranza. Okay, Vane Ramirez, ready? Okay, um, do you ever play video games? No, um, no ever play video games. I never, I never play. I never. Uh -huh. Play video games. Video games, ever Thank and never. Uh-huh, okay. Thank you, Vanessa. I appreciate Thank it. You. Now, okay, <laughs> so. Let's continue with you. One question for one of your classmates, please. Okay, to Amanda Menendez. Amanda, okay. Do you ever visit to the mall? Hmm? Are you there, Amanda? Maybe not. Next person, Hazel. Oh, Amanda is Hello. here now. Repeat, Hazel. Uh -huh, yes. Okay. Amanda, do you ever visit to the mall? Mall. Yes, I I um, sometimes visit to the mall. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's continue. Option number two. Option number two. One second. How often? That one, uh, maybe you have listened to that option more. How often we usually, it's not a rule, we usually answer with a frequency expression. We usually answer with a frequency expression. I'm going to remind you of the frequency expressions. Frequency expressions. We have the list. <clears throat> The list, just to remember. Hold on. Okay. Angelica, can you read the, the list of frequency expressions, please? Uh, some frequency expressions are every other day, week, month, year. Several, many, a few times a day, week, month, year, once, twice a day, week, month, year, from time to time, once in a while. Thank you, Angelica. Good to hear you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so guys, those are the expressions we studied yesterday. Son las que mencionábamos ayer. Do you have questions about the expressions before we continue? Questions or comments about the phrases? Is there a several? Something? Several is a synonym. It means a lot. Okay. A lot is several. 
Another option, several okay. or many. Yes. More questions? Thank you. You're welcome, Mario. No? Okay. So with how often we usually use expressions. For example, how often do you drink water? We want to know the regularity. Answer, I drink water twice a day, for example, twice a day. Okay, this is the frequency expression, right? And remember, you have two options, two positions, or you can say twice a day, comma, I drink water, okay? Two positions. Number two. How often do you study English? What could you say, um, Amanda? How often do you study English? What is the answer? Teacher. Yes, Marlon. Eh, en la primera pregunta es how often do you drink oh, water yes. or solo? No, how often? Okay. I thought I put Thank it in the, I don't know why it's not there. Thank you, Marlon, for telling me. Amanda, how often do you study English? I um I always I study I I study English every day. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Amanda studies English every day. And in this course, in this course, it's not every day. Can you guys be more specific? Let's let's be more specific, a little bit more. Heidi, how how often do you study English? How many times in the week? Mm -hmm. One. Only one? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Another answer, Lisette. How often do you study English? What is the frequency, the regularity of the class? What could you say? To Monday at Tuesday. That could be another option, uh -huh, from Monday to Thursday. This is another idea. You study English four times a week. Okay. It's another possibility. There are many options. Or I usually study English. Okay. Usually, ¿verdad? Como les menciono acá, usualmente vamos a utilizar una frequency expression. But, pero, pueden usar también frequency words, ¿ok? No es eh, un error si la utilizan. Tienen diferentes options. The same here, ¿ok? Lo mismo, pueden usar frequency words or frequency expressions. Las pueden intercambiar. ¿Ok? That's, that's ok. Okay, one more example. How often do you take a shower? What can you tell us about that, uh, Yolanda? How often do you take a shower? I take a shower every day. Uh-huh, thank you every day, sometimes twice a day or three times a day. So I take a shower every 
day. Or I take a shower once a day. Another option, okay? You have different options. Questions, comments? Lisette? I always take a shower. Uh -huh. That's another possibility, correct. I always take a shower. Okay, thank you. Now guys, can you send me some ideas by chat, please? One or two examples. Now I need the question and the answer, okay? Write or type the question and then the answer. Pregunta con respuesta, please. Here you have some, some ideas. Okay, thank you, Catherine. Marlon, correct too. Just wait two more minutes, guys, and we will have one activity. How often do you go to church? I go to church every Sunday. Correct, thank you, Amanda. Yes, Wendy. Thank you. Lisette, how often do you do you play the guitar? We were missing the, the auxiliary and the subject. Guillermo, correct. Thank you, Guillermo. Yolanda, correct, Yolanda. Thank you. Kelia, good question. Monica. Okay, Monica. Thank you. Uh, Hazel is with, with how often the question, mm -hmm. but it's okay. The question is correct. Okay, then Haiti, how often do you eat veggies? Uh -huh. Twice a week, yes. Alfredo, correct. Okay, thank you. We're doing well. Pane. How often, Vane Carranza, how often do you eat at home? How often do you eat at home? And then you ask the question. So these guys are some, some options. You can continue, continue sending them by chat. And okay, we will have one activity. It's gonna be an interview. I'm going to separate you. I'm going to team you up and you have to create questions, at least five questions. And you have to ask your classmate, okay? To know a little bit more about their lives. Vamos a hacer una pequeña entrevista en, en parejas o tríos y se van a entrevistar con el objetivo de conocer más de las actividades de su compañero, okay? Entonces pueden preguntarse una vez cada uno o termina uno y luego ve el otro. Okay, I'm going to separate you so you can ask questions and practice. I'm going to visit your room to listen to your questions. Okay, los voy a visitar solo para escucharlos, a ver qué tal vamos. Do you understand the activity? ¿Entendemos yes. la activity? Yes. yes. Questions? No. No questions. Okay, and if you make a mistake, and you guys see the mistake, you can help each other, ¿verdad? Si uno ve que alguien se equivoca y sabe qué es, 
puede tal vez hacer una sugerencia, ¿verdad? Para que nos ayudemos entre todos. Ok, okay. so, yes, Mario. Usando ever y how often. Uh -huh. often. Yes, ¿Cualquiera de las dos o las dos? Ambas. Half and half. Mitad y okay. mitad. Half and half. Okay, like, do you ever go to the movies or how often do you go to the beach? A mix. Okay. One second. Okay, open the, the invite, please. Hi guys, I just came here to offer help. I don't know if there is something you would like to ask. Uh, I finished, I, I have three questions. Three, uh, more, mm -hmm. more questions, Anna. Five, okay. around five questions. Five. Uh -huh. okay. And then ask, ask Guillermo, okay? okay. Uh, if possible, send me a message in the group that you're ready to ask. And I'm going to come just to listen a moment to the mm -hmm. to the questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And you, Guillermo, do you have questions? Uh, I don't have any questions, teacher. No. Okay. Okay. See you in one moment. Bye bye. Uh, water. Um. I. I drink. Water mm. every day. Okay. Um, how often do you drive to office? Mm -hmm. I drive. Mm, never on the office. Ahí creo que sería al revés primero. I never. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Hazel. Uh, and Monica has some problems with the internet. I never. La drive. perdemos por ratito. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, I'm going to continue listening in a moment. Okay. Monica, do you hear us? Okay. Este, how often do you eat vegetable? I I eat vegetable hardly ever. Okay. And Hazel, in that case, you can say I hardly I, ever. Uh huh. Okay. I hardly ever eat. I think it's because you were thinking about it, right? Like I, and then you were like, oh, hardly ever. Uh -huh, but you are doing well. I'm going to visit other rooms, but keep up the good work. Okay, see you. Okay. okay. Vegetable. I rarely 
eat vegetable in the food. <laughs> okay. Do you ever go to the beach on Sunday? I usually go to the beach. In, and do you ever go to the restaurant? I rarely Okay. Hi guys, how are you doing? Hi. Have you fun? Eh, solo la última. Oh, almost, almost. <laughs> almost. Okay, I'm going to listen to this one. <laughs> okay. Okay. Angélica, could you ask Mario? Okay. Ah, ah, ahorita tengo que preguntar. Ajá. Ah, perdón. Sí. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí, sí. Do you ever play basketball, Mario? I usually play basketball twice time a week. Okay, thank you. I'm going okay. to stop you there. Eh, Mario, be careful. Try not to use two frequency words. Because you said I usually play basketball twice. Ah. Ahí estaría utilizando okay. dos expresiones, por decirlo así. O solo usually, oh, oh, okay. o solo twice. I play basketball uh -huh. twice time a week. Ajá, uh -huh. okay. twice, okay. twice a week. Uh -huh. And now, Mario, a could week. you okay. ask Angelica? Do you ever eat pupusas? I always <laughs> eat pupusas. Ajá. <laughs> Uh, 100% <laughs> Salvadorian, right? Yes. All of us. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Well, excellent job. Uh, we're going to go back to the main session for the final part of the class. Okay. See you okay. there. Okay, teacher. Hi, guys. Welcome back. Okay. I hope you have good memory. Okay, for the last part of the class. In this part, you have to mention the activity and the frequency of the activities your classmates uh, practice or do, okay? Ahorita me van a comentar lo que su compañero les dijo, okay? You don't have notes, creo que nadie escribió, verdad? Así que just by memory, by heart. Okay, so let's begin with Alfredo and Vanessa. Okay, Alfredo, what did Bane uh, tell you? Okay, Bane tell me about uh, your hobbies, her hobbies. Hmm. Uh, her, her uh, live stream. And the frequency, Alfredo? Her swim, uh, swims a uh, week. He swims twice, twice a week. Twice. Uh -huh. Sorry, Number twice two. Week. It's okay. Uh, her, her, uh, how do you say caminatas? But remember, you have to use the the verb. She walks. Uh, walk. Or she, she hikes. She walks. Uh -huh. okay, hike okay. es Thank como you. la de caminata. She hikes. And the frequency. Okay. She hike. hikes. Mm -hmm. Okay. She hikes uh, uh, three times a month mm -hmm. in, uh, on the park. Ah, um, okay. So she walks in that case. Walk, hike. walk, walk. Uh -huh. In the park, walk. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, he walk uh, three times a month in the park. Mm -hmm. 
eh, eh, how do you say ping pong? Ping pong. Ping pong. The same. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Her play ping pong. He uh, plays. He plays ping pong. She plays ping pong once uh, a week. Once a week. Okay, Alfredo, thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. I'm going to stop you and we continue with Vane. Vane, tell me activities Alfredo does. Um, Alfredo Al mm -hmm. likes play, play soccer and he, he studied industrial engineer. And the frequency? Uh -huh. um, a play soccer. One. You can say soccer, Fanny. Sorry that I interrupted you. Soccer. Okay. It's, in, once, a, once a week. Mm -hmm. And uh, he likes to eat, eat a lot every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. How cool. That's nice. Okay. Uh, yeah. More uh, Vane? Uh -huh. And he is, he studied uh, industrial engin engineer uh -huh. in the University of El Salvador. Okay. And finish. <laughs> okay, Vane. Thank you. Thank you very much. You did well. Now Thank let's you. listen to Catherine and Yolanda. Okay, let's begin with Yolanda. Tell us Catherine's uh, activities, Yolanda, please. Uh, okay, Catherine never plays soccer because mm -hmm. she she didn't like. Mm -hmm. uh, Catherine sometimes mm -hmm. plays video games. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you, Yolanda. I don't remember more. <laughs> yes, you okay. need to have a good memory to remember. But thank you, Yolanda. Now, okay. Catherine, tell us about okay. Yolanda. Okay, about Yolanda, um, once a mom goes to the beach, uh, Yolanda cooks every day. Um, her brothers never play the soccer. Hardly ever uh, goes to the shirt and Yolanda goes to the supermarket twice a month. Okay, Catherine, thank you. Thank you very much. You did very well. Solo la de hardly ever, lo escuché al principio de la oración. Solo asegúrese de ponerlo después, después del subject, Catherine. So guys, we will stop the class here because we don't have more time to continue, but it was a, a pleasure to see you again. And we will continue tomorrow, okay? I don't know if you have any questions. No? Okay, guys, no, sweet dreams. No. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night.